development of the central nervous system. Now for this we should be aware of the formation of this neural tube because the neural tube is the one which leads to the formation of the central nervous system. Now the neural tube formation it is actually induced by this structure which is present over here and this is the notochord. The notochord which is present over here it induces the overlying ectoderm to form the neural plate. So if you see the structure over here this over here is the neural plate which is present over here. And after the formation of neural plate, a depression appears in the neural plate like this over here. And this depression is given the term as the neural groove. As this depression occurs on the sides, the folds are appearing and these folds are termed as neural folds. These neural folds, they approximate each other. And as they approximate each other, they fuse to form this neural tube. Now let us take an example that how this neural tube is formed. If I say that this is a neural plate, a depression which is caused, so this depression over here, the depression which is created over here is the neural groove and these folds which are arising on the sides, these are the neural folds. The neural folds will slowly, slowly approximate each other and they will fuse to form this neural tube like this. And when we see this neural tube, it is a longitudinal structure like this, which is extending from the cranial to the caudal aspect. Now when this neural tube is being formed, there are few cells which are present over here which are, which are forming the neural crest cells. So these neural crest cells which are present on the dorsal and the lateral aspect of the neural tube, these are the specialized cells which will be giving rise to some other structures. Now if you see this neural tube which is formed from cranial to the caudal side, it is still open on this side as well as on this side. So this is present on the head side. So this is given the term as cranial neuropore and this structure which is on the tail side, this is given the term as the caudal neuropore. Now when the cranial neuropore closes, that is by the 25th day of intrauterine life and after that the caudal neuropore, it will also close, that is by the 28th day of intrauterine life. After this, it forms a closed neural tube. Now, if I say if this cranial end, it does not close. If the cranial end, it does not close over here, that is the cranial neuropore, it does not close. It leads to this congenital anomaly, which is given the term as NNkephaly. Now, when you see in this anomaly, you can very well see that towards the, towards the head side, the skull bone over here is absent. And due to this reason, the brain and the meninges, they are exposed towards outside. So this condition given the term as NNkephaly due to the defect in closure of cranial neuropore. Now if there is defect in the closure of the caudal neuropore that is towards the lower side. So it will lead to a condition which is known as spina bifida. The spina bifida it is mostly do, towards the lumbar aspect and we say that mostly it presents like this swelling this sac like structure which is present in the lumbar area which is filled with the cerebrospinal fluid or it can be having the or it can be having the material from the spinal cord. So when we talk about the spina bifida, it can be of various types. It can be the spina bifida occulta or with meningocele or with meningomyelocele. Now when we talk about the occulta over here, then we say that during this defect in the closure of the uh, in the closure of the caudal neuropore or in the fusion of the neural tube, what happens the overlying vertebral column, the defect in the closure of that vertebral column is also is there along with that. Now in the spina bifida occulta, we say that it presents with a depression towards the outer side or there is simply the presence of the tuft of hairs. So it is not, it is not presenting with any kind of cystic swelling. But when we come to this meningomyelocele, so as you can see over here, there is a defect towards the posterior side within this vertebral column also. And due to this, the meninges, they come out and they form the cystic sac as being shown over here. And this cystic shack, it is being filled by the cerebrospinal fluid. Another aspect over here is this meningomyelocele. The meningomyelocele means some component of the spinal cord or the nerves, they also come out. So if you see over here, the spinal cord, it is also coming out. And now we say that within this cystic sac, you are having the components of the spinal cord also. And that is why it is given the term as a meningomyelocele. 
Let us talk about the development of CNS. Now the development of the CNS is from the neural tube. It is from the neural tube over here and we say that this neural tube it is derived from ectoderm. It is derived from ectoderm. So, what are the whatever structures are derived from neural tube they will be ectodermal in nature. Now, when we talk about the neural tube, for the neural tube we say that it is induced, the formation is induced by the notochord. The formation induced by the notochord and we say the formation it begins in the third week. The formation it begins in third week of intrauterine life and it is completed. The formation is completed by the fourth week of intrauterine life, by the end of the fourth week of intrauterine life. And now when the neural tube formation is beginning, a very important point, the fusion of the neural tube, the fusion of the neural tube, it is first of all at the level of cervical region. It begins at cervical region. And then after that the fusion it goes cranially as well as caudally. When the fusion has occurred, we form a tube like structure like this. This tube like structure is being formed and there is still openings on the cranial and the caudal side. Now this cranial opening is given the term as cranial neuropore which is also termed as anterior neuropore. The caudal opening over here, this one is given the term as caudal or posterior neuropore. Now, when we talk about these openings over here, the cranial neuropore, it closes by 25th day of intrauterine life and when we talk about this caudal neuropore, it closes by, it closes by 28th day of intrauterine life. Now normally they should close at these days which we have mentioned if the closure does not occur. If I say there is defect in closure of cranial neuropore then it will lead to a clinical condition known as anencephaly. And for the caudal neuropore if there is any defect in closure if there is any defect in closure over here, it will lead to a congenital anomaly which is termed as spina bifida.